Right, so, welcome back. My name's Max, and that is my Rover 100. Um, what we're planning to do today is we're going to put this subframe back in. Uh, we're going to put it back on all four wheels, and then we are going to finish welding the roll cage up. So basically, I've got like some welds on the feet today. We're going to throw both seats in, so we'll have to make obviously the holders for the other seats, um, and then we're going to crack on with like the sort of back bars that come off the cage to reverse suspension legs. I've also remembered I've got to put two more bars in from the like where the suspension mounts on the back. If we don't get around to it today, it's nothing major. It's just like little things we need to do towards the end. So. Before we get cracking, I'm going to tidy the shop because, as you can see behind me, it's an absolute state. So I'm quickly going to whiz and tidy everything up, and then we'll get cracking in the metro.
So, um, as you can see, what we've done is we've put the rear subframe on and we put the front wheels and all the suspension arms back on. Put the seat in to get measurements for the harness bar. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go around, take the seat out and make two harness bars that come across. We'll put all the centre plates in, that's what we're going to do. So all the plates are made a couple of weekends ago. I'm going to put all them in, weld it all up, weld the floor up and then we'll carry on going. Let's go cracking. So then, as you can see, it's all plated now. I'm going to come in with the grinder now. I'm going to clean it, flush either side. This side, not too much. You're not going to see it ever. The other side, you are going to see, so I'm going to tidy it up as best I can. Um, I've cleaned all these bars up, the harness bars, so they're perfect height now. So I'm dead happy. Um, we'll see what the time is. So I just need to make the bars that come from here down to the suspension legs. We might not have time today, but we'll see what we can do. Let's get cracking. So 
So there, slight change of plan. Um, what the plan was originally was to come straight off and then bend it down. What I've decided, because it looks absolutely amazing, and I'm the sort of partner where I can be quite picky with um, the look of things. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come from there straight down. So obviously we're going to mould it for the chassis rails here. It's not a major thing at the minute because they're not actually being welded in. All we're going to do is we're going to come off there, we're going to mould that end um, and then basically tack that in. And once it's tacked in, we'll come down a bit and mark it. And then basically we cut it off and the bit that's tacked on is staying on. Basically what the plan is, is obviously when we're making the, um, the actual unit, the back sheet, is to slide it on. So if I cut them short enough, the whole thing of it being on an angle shouldn't actually matter too much because we're using flat plates, it's got a bit of flex and we can wiggle it around a bit. So we should be all right. Do we come straight off and then diagonally down? Let's try something first. So, as you can see, we're all braced up now. Obviously, these bars aren't staying here now. Um, they'll come off once I've welded them ones in, so they will come off. Finished off the brace plate in the middle. <coughs> Sorry. And the harness bars. So I'm dead chuffed with that. It looks really, really good. It looks really good with the seating, actually. All the rear subframes nice and done now, so all that's got to come off now is there's a bar to go from this bar down to there and that's it, it's done. There's a couple of little plates but a lot of the plates have been plastic clap, capped so we can put them in. As we come round to the side, as you can see, it's looking really mean now, especially with that rear bar, it does it really good. Um, so she's no longer looking sorry for herself, she's actually looking like a car. Come round the front, so we put it back on its wheels, we've not put the engine in yet because it needs to go in next weekend. We're going to drop it in and we're actually going to start work on the head so we can get all that done and then we can actually have the fun part of making a manifold. I'm in the process of making all the bits for it. I'm not recording it, it's just, just making a plate. Um, if anyone wants to know the way I've done it, I will um, just drop me a message and I shall let you know. But as we come round to the side, she is looking very mean and very proud of herself. And I'm very proud of the work I've done. But there we go, one Rover Metro pickup. Almost Hello, as you've seen today, we've been pretty busy at the shop today. We've got the rear subframe back in, we also got it on its wheels. A bit of um, a kerfuffle getting it in. I think it's the fact that I'm full of a cold, so my head's a bit ick. You know what I mean? Um, I'm dead happy with them now, they're looking really good. I'm dead happy with actually how the, the harness bars look and how the little bracing plate in the middle. I might add a bit more bracing yet, I'm unsure. I think it should be fine with them ones and the, the extra pin that's going on there. So. From all of us at Smoking Retros, I hope you're all enjoying the videos, or you're all having a brilliant time, and we will see you next time. Hit the like button, drop a comment, and feel free to subscribe. I'll catch you next time.